Hey guys, uh, this is Kyle and I'm, I'm just here today. I wanted just to document a few things I've been looking at today. I have a couple Coleman, vintage Coleman grills and uh, a vintage lantern and just a couple of things that, you know, came to my mind. I was, I was tinkering with them today and, uh, you know, the, a lot of the parts for these grills, like uh, this one right here, this one was made in the 70s, it's a like propane grill. Uh, it, it still works, the issue is this little part catches on fire right here. And, uh, you know, you can't be having that when you're using a propane grill because you don't want to catch other stuff on fire. But um, the, the, this little hose piece here is just not not easy to find. And, you know, so but the, the grill actually still worked. The flame came out great and all the things, but it, it just I don't think it's worth me uh, keeping. So I just thought I would document it real quickly. This is the 1970s grill, vintage Coleman grill uh, right here. I have a 1950s era um coleman uh camp girl and uh it, it actually still works uh i had to take the tank out and put new fuel in it and um once i put the new fuel in the tank and i put put it back in here the, actually it, it started up great and uh had good little flames uh today and then i was looking at this this guy this guy's from like the 1960s and uh this little lantern c uh cl2 uh coleman lantern that you put you put uh you put like uh fuel in here and uh coleman fuel and you would light it and it works the issue is there's the little piece up here at the very top that uh, allows the um allows allows the fuel to come up out of here into where the it would burn and uh it's like a little loop and it, and, and it breaks off real easily it, it's a common issue with this type of lantern but the lantern's so old it's so vintage that the the parts are discontinued you can't even find them online anymore and and if you can find them it's really expensive when today you can buy a propane lantern for like 40 bucks it might as well not even uh, uh unless you really want or sentimental value with it i mean it's just not worth repairing because you're going to put more money into it than it's really worth and uh so there's a lot of fuel in it today and um, instead of just wasting the fuel and throwing it away i thought i would uh, just do something a little bit fun with it so uh here we go Woo, look at that it is windy out here so i took i took the fuel out of here out of this little uh out of the bottom of this lantern right here and i stuck it in the bucket because i didn't know what else to do with it i didn't want to throw it in the trash so i thought i would just burn it off take a quick video of it so uh enjoy it is super windy out here so it's helping feed that oxygen inside that bucket but that fuel that fuel's probably been in that lantern for 20 years 20 plus years maybe 30 years and uh it, it never worked you can't use that fuel for anything else because it's so old uh, it char make everything black that you use it on so i thought i would just burn it just for the fun of it make a cool video out of it taking this guy this 1950s grill uh with me when i go start going camping i'm starting to camp a lot more so i thought i would use this i know the wind probably is terrible on this video so uh you know uh i just thought i would talk about these products you know i'm probably gonna throw this away this vintage uh lamp it's no, it's no use to me you can't really even get the products and, and this guy this little part right here uh is, is to see what flame would do uh what uh probably gasoline or any kind of combustible would do in a, a small metal pail don't put in anything plastic you met you melt the plastic though pretty fun you might as well burn it get a little show out of it you see all that black smoke coming off of it i don't know if you can really tell with the camera yeah you can you can tell with the camera you see all that black smoke that's because that feels like 20 to 30 years old and uh 
it's it's so bad and it's all broken down so you would never use this in any of your your coleman products because uh you know it, it's disintegrating but i think we're starting to get to the bottom of it there's not much fuel left in there it's just burning off the last little bits of it Thank you guys for joining me today. I was just having a little fun, a little creativity. Thought I'd uh, show you the flames and then uh, talk about my Coleman products that I uh, tinkered with today. So I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you. Bye.